Good morning. It's turned out nice again. Mother, it actually, guys, it hasn't. I'm lying. I'm actually lying. It's uh, it's kind of like a little bit blue uh, with a bit with a few clouds. We expected in England, though. How's it going? You all right? Well, do you know what? It's a new week, and when I was making my cuppa early, I was like, did we really go through all that last week? It was, it was mental, wasn't it? Absolutely mental. Um, we need to stop this in the background because it's putting me off a little bit. <laughs> uh, it, that's even more weird. Hang on a minute. Oh, all right. Oh, there we go. That'll do. Just total random where I stopped it. Okay. That took my uh, blood pressure tablets today. I'm not sure if I have not Right, where are we starting then? So we're going to be doing, um, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, it, obviously over the coming weeks and months, uh, we're going to be talking a lot about the, um, you know, the next Liverpool manager. I'm going to try and make it obvious if those videos are to do with that by putting next Liverpool manager in title. So please don't go and watch a video and say, I'm sick of hearing about this. Just, just don't, all right? Do you know what I mean? Uh, and if you do put that now as a joke, like please, you know, please always include an emoji because when you're when I read the text, like, oh the fuck, get out of here, get out of here. Do you know what I mean? So you got to make sure you uh, include an emoji. So shall we start? Okay, uh, Xabi Alonso. I'll be looking at the betting uh, this morning on the uh, the candidates uh, for the uh, for the next Liverpool uh, to be the next Liverpool manager. Um, when I say candidates, I mean just, you know, they're, they're not official candidates or anything. There's no suggestion that they've been shortlisted. Um, it's just what, you know, the bookies have got all, you know, the market is open and, you know, you can put your money on. You shouldn't pay too much attention to football betting, in my opinion, because uh, people, you know, football fans bet with their hearts and not their head. Uh, so it's not like a bit of like horse racing or something like that, you know. Um, so, never, you know, don't just see, if you see, you know, like Xabi Alonso, the favourite, four to seven, you, you're thinking, oh man, you know, it's, it don't work like that, guys, with football. It really doesn't. Obviously, he's the favourite. Um, but, you know, if you look at the second favourite, just don't assume that that must be happening or something, all right? Um, so, one thing I will say is, when it comes to social media, I would really urge you to ignore as much as you can um, in relation to, you know, the, the, the speculation by individuals, you know, these account holders, um, some of the hacks, uh, I, you know, I think there's a difference between someone saying, like, what I'm going to do, this is what such and such is, is claiming and explaining why I brought it to your attention versus someone, some faceless, you know, Twitter ITK or whatever, making out they know what's going on, right? So just have a bit of caution. I, you know, like I, I've seen a lot of the claims already this morning. I checked my phone this morning and I was looking, I was like, oh, for, I, can't, I can't go through this, you know? So me personally, I'll be avoiding what these numpties have got to say. And a lot of the journalists as well. Uh, seriously, guys, because all of a sudden they seem to know everything, but they didn't know a fucking thing before Saturday, uh, Friday, whenever it was. I can't even remember when it was, to be honest with you. Um... I genuinely don't know. I can't remember what it was. Friday, I guess. You should know. No, my memory's terrible. I don't even know what day of the week it is. So, Gwilym Balagay, right? I like to, I like Gwilym Balagay, to be honest. But when Rofer, as Tom Mix used to call him, Rofer, when Rofer uh, was manager of Liverpool Football Club, we saw a lot of Gwilym Balagay because of the Spanish contingency at Liverpool, right? But what, as I'm in Spain, what I used to see was Balaguer would say one thing to like the British media, the English media, and he'd be saying the complete opposite in Spain on the same day. So let's say it was about a, you know, a, a player, for example, that, you know, Liverpool and Real Madrid were linked with, or maybe, yeah, let's just stick with that one. Uh, you know, he'd be saying, oh, the player thinks this about Liverpool, uh, you know, and there's, you know, it looks like there's a good chance he might go to Liverpool. Then in Spain, he'd go, nah, there's a good chance he'd only go to Liverpool. It's really, really strange to watch it at the time. That's how sad I am. I, I get right into all of this. Uh, but I do like him. I've got to be honest with you. My mum used to like him. And, oh, God bless her. She used to go, oh, he's handsome, isn't he? I said, like, fucking knock it off, man. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Um, anyway, 
so Balaguer has said that buyer labour queues and would not stand in the way, um, you know, of uh, Xabi Alonso leaving to join an elite club, as Rafa would say, <laughs> for sure. Now, why pay attention to back? Well, first of all, Balaguer is like that, you know, with, with the likes of Alonso and that, right? So he's going to be a good one to watch, I think. Genuinely, guys. And obviously, he's, he's tight with Real Madrid officials and stuff like that about what their thoughts are, you know. Um, because, he's, you know, they've, he's always been mentioned as a, a possible Real Madrid manager one day, right? So, Balaguer is someone I think that you should listen to. Uh, doesn't mean what he says. I don't even know what he said yet. I've not even read it, okay? Um, but me personally, I'll, 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 I'll be watching what Balaguer's got to say about it. Do you know what I mean? Anyway... Uh, let's just stick with these quotes, okay? The, this is Balaguer. The former Spain international, who has recently turned 42, has two and a half years left on his buyer Leverkusen contract. Leverkusen have always told Alonso, both privately and publicly, they would not stand in his way if a chance to join one of the elite clubs in Europe came his way. Now, I, I was going to chip in, but we'll continue. There is no buyout clause in his contract. Nothing has changed. His plan has always been the same. The idea has always been that if things went well and the likes of Real Madrid and Liverpool would be a possible next step, while if things went less well, then there would always be the chat. Doesn't make sense. Uh, okay, would be a possible next step. But if things went didn't work as well there, I think is what he means, because this will have been translated probably. Um, then there would always be the chance of him returning to his hometown of San Sebastian and Real Sociedad. In fact, after taking his apprenticeship with Real Sociedad, Real Sociedad B, B team, uh, Alonso might well have graduated to the job as first team coach had it not been for the excellent job the current incumbent, incumbent uh, Emmanuel, Emmanuel Alguacil, 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 si, claro. Uh, had done and continues to do so. The circumstances have now also brought Bayern Munich into the picture as well as Manchester City, although it is way off the mark to suggest that all any of the top clubs have to do is knock on the door and he will come running. A bit like me, if she were not to my door, I, I wouldn't go running either. If there was an ice cream man, I'd fuck it, it'd be off like that. His long-term managerial plan goes even further back to when he was still playing. Alonso was very much a coach and fan favourite at Real Madrid when he decided to leave them to join Bayern Munich in 2014 and where he would play his last three seasons before retiring as a player. It was a decision that surprised many, although it was one he took so he could learn about uh, learn more about coaching under the tutelage, tutelage, I don't even know how to pronounce that word, never heard that word before, of Pep Guardiola, Boo. as well as become fluent in German. Danke. No, not danke, that's thank you, innit? Danke. <coughs> danke. What? Ja. My name is Duncan. My, my na no, that's more like Spanish, innit? Duncan. They call me Duncan here. They don't say, all right, Dunk. No. Hello, Duncan. No, they go, hola, Duncan. Can. Like that. Yeah. Well, it's not like that in Germany, is it? Be more like, um, do you know, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> uh, something fluent in German. I used to be fluent in German. I know I'm fluent in bullshit, but I was fluent in German when I was at school. Honestly. I'm not joking. Mm. Within four months of his arrival at the club, he was giving his first interview in German. He was giving focus and dedication to the task in hand, whatever that might be, is characterized wherever he has been, both as a player and a Coach. Right, so you may hear people say that he's got an agreement to leave for Liverpool if they ever, if that opportunity ever uh, presents itself. Actually, what people usually say is it's in his contract that he can leave for Liverpool um, if he, if they ever become available. And the fans exaggerate things a little bit because the the actual thing is he he has. Not a clause in his contract, but he has an agreement, a verbal agreement with his club that if one of his former clubs uh, were to come in for him, that they would, you know, discuss that with him. And if he wanted to go, they would let him go. Uh, I can't remember who said that. It was some chief at that club, you know, some suit there. Uh, and he said, no, there's no there's no contract uh, clause or anything. Um, it's just an agreement. We have a great working relationship, you know, and we respect each other. And if one of the former clubs that he, you know, then we wouldn't stand in his way. So what Balaguer is saying is backing it up, to be honest with you, because his, his initial thing is, 
Uh, by Leverkusen would not stand in the way um, if, if Liverpool went knocking. But when you hear people talk about this contract clause, there isn't one. And it's not just for Liverpool. Because like, Liverpool fans, they'll, they'll, they'll drop out the, the other clubs and stuff to make it sound like it's such a big deal that if he, if he ever got the chance to manage Liverpool, he's got this clause just for Liverpool. It's not just for Liverpool. All right, so that's that. That's it. I just wanted to tell you. Uh, keep an eye on what um, Balaguer says. We're going to be making lots of videos about this, guys, I'm sure. Uh, which, in some ways, is good because it gives us something to talk about. Um, uh, you know, it also keeps me on my toes, you know, see what's going on and stuff. Um, there are a few other things I'd like to talk to you about today. Hey, I bought a rowing machine the other day. See, it's over there. It's down there, rowing machine. Can you believe that? Looks good. I've not been on it yet. But when I finish today, I'm going on it, yeah. Oh, hey, and, hey, 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 hang on a minute. I've lost um, four kilos, which I think is 8.8 .8 pounds in three days. So when I went to England last week to go to that Depeche Mode concert with my son, yeah, we had a few sherbets and ate food that we probably shouldn't have done like Greg's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I came back like fucking a lot heavier than when I left, you know what I mean? But I've, I've shaken it off now, so I'm well chuffed with that. It's not bad, is it? Four kilos in three days. Nah, fucking you will. Wait till I get on that rowing machine. At least it can't sing. Be yeah, all right. Right then, um, I'm going to be live today on here. Excuse me. Three o'clock UK time this afternoon. Please do come along and join me. I'll be doing some streams uh, throughout the week. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys that support me. Uh, for those of you that have, you know, hit the super thanks button or whatever, uh, you, your name should be in the uh, video description below and in every video I do this year. So uh, please make sure you are in there. That's my little schwag, you know, my, my people's looking after me in that. Uh, and obviously, if you want to join the channel, all that guff is, is in the video description, as is the VIP members website, which is the best way of supporting me. Um, please do thumbs up the video if you appreciate the video. It doesn't necessarily mean you agree with me. Uh, but most importantly is to leave me a comment. You know, the comments are what get me through my day. Honestly, guys, when I'm sat around, you know, I'm like, right, what should I? And I go, all right, oh, right, yeah, never thought of that. So please, And I like to see that you're all right, you know, so don't just be a lurker, please. Well, I really do mean it. You know, people on my channel, my community here, uh, are very important to me. And that means you watching this video, even if you don't like me, you fucker. Uh, right, what else is there? Is that it? No, that's about it, I think. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> I can't say it yet. Uh, no, there's nothing to do with football. I was going to be a bit cheeky about my um, about my trip to about my trip to England. So I got a little secret, um, but it, it's nothing to do with football. But it, you know, the chubby cheeks are smiling a little bit at the moment. You know what I mean? But we'll see. Mm hmm. Anyway, listen to the Dunk Knows Best podcast. Have you got Spotify, Apple Podcasts? Any pod have you got podcast app on your phone? Search Dunk Knows Best. Dunk Knows Best. I'll be going on that uh, on there today. I'll be putting an episode out on there today. Uh, we also need to update the Cock Talk podcast as well. Don't know if that'll get done today, but uh, I'm aware that I need to uh, to update that. All right, guys. Yeah, thumbs up. Leave a comment. Thanks. I'll speak to you. Look at she's all right, isn't she? Oh, you're worse.